Alright, YouTube Impo 40 here. Uh, somebody actually requested me make a uh, video on what you should bring to Nationals. Um, this is going to be a little brief because I'm still not feeling too thrilled about my stomach. Kinda had a rough night. Anyway, nobody cares. So, uh, what to do at Nationals. Uh, what to bring to Nationals. Uh, what not to do at Nationals. If you guys have seen my uh, segments on what not to do to Regional, it's basically the same thing, but it equivalates. You know what I mean? Uh, the thing that you should probably bring to Nationals the most is money for side events. Um, you really need money for stuff like that. Uh, the important thing that a lot of people don't seem to realize that they need for Nats, um, you need school ID or some form of ID. I'm not going to show my driver's license just because I think I'm smart that. And then you guys need your uh, Konami number uh, side events, obviously, uh, unless you have it memorized already. So yeah, bring some sort of identification and uh, your Konami card. Uh, that's how you're going to get registered for Nats if you have your invite. Um, the big thing about Nats is uh, there's going to be last chance qualifiers happening on Friday at 10-ish. Um, last chance qualifiers are the chance for you to enter in and get your invite. Um, it's been dubbed suicide by those that have not got their uh, Nats invite yet. It really is a sack fest. Um, if you haven't got your invite yet, it's it's not exactly the best thing you want to do. Um, bring a lot of extra cards um, for trading. It's the biggest trade event of the year, in my opinion. Uh, the other thing that you probably should bring with you, just for future reference, um, more decks um, than just one. Sunday, well, Friday's going to be your register day, your hectic day. Uh, your trade day to get everything you need together. Saturday is going to be your play day, and then Sunday, uh, Sunday is usually your I want to enter the nationals to get my invite first day, especially in such a downsided format right now. But somebody's going to get their invite early, so for now, um, that's basically the gist of what you need to bring. Um, just make sure that you hang around with friends, uh, keep together with people that you know, uh, prevent your stuff from getting jacked by being around closed groups of uh, friends. Uh, try to outsource a little bit, get some trading done. Um, if you go to Nats worried about your stuff getting jacked, don't bring anything. Just don't even play Nats. Like, if you can't take risk, then you don't deserve anything in life. So, remember they say safe investments will only get you so much and the risk are greater if you go into the red a little bit. So, I guess that's everything, uh, what you guys should bring to Nats. Um, what not to do at Nats, um... Don't do what my friend wanted to do in 09 when we uh, were going to give him three dust tornadoes from Dual Terminal. He wanted to uh, start rolling around the floor, Rick rolling everybody. Uh, other 09 experiences at Nats, uh, when everybody at Konami freaked out and we were like there until 1 a.m. because of Nats going forever. They had no idea that there were that many people there that year. It was a very interesting year. Um, just work with Konami. Um, if your appeal rate at Nats, I think, is 20 minutes. At least that's what it was in previous years. If you appeal, you're going to probably be waiting about 20 minutes. There's only one head judge, so you're going to be waiting in line. So be aware of that. Um, appealing is a very powerful tool, but you're going to be sitting there, and you're going to be getting a time extension, which is going to put even more stress on you. Uh, in between the rounds, it's usually about 20 to 40 minutes. It just depends of end of match procedures and who's still playing. Uh, it's really questionable at times. Um, Nats usually starts close to on time. Um, I'm not sure. I don't remember much about last year, and I don't remember. I remember 09, I think, was behind because of everything. So this is only Konami's third Nats, so bear with them a little bit. Um, I know you get your sleeves and uh, mats on registration, so uh, that's a good thing. Uh, get there early Friday for registration. Or actually wait until later. Either go early or go later. Um, there's no in the middle. If you are if you go in the middle, you're going to be waiting forever. I remember last year, I think I went an hour before... I went up to registration about an hour beforehand. And I think I got right in. Like, the K line is usually pretty small. I don't know why. It's usually the A through the, uh, I think, D or E line is usually the biggest in the, uh, the last line. It's usually the biggest as well so uh, just get there on time remember you guys have from 12 to 7 to pre-register um, just bring money for side events bring extra cards um, that way you can change your side deck um, I guess it's really everything guys if uh, I missed anything feel free to make comments down below 
Um, that's I'm leaving within 24 hours now, actually 22 hours. So yeah, Friday 5 a.m. Gonna be a long night, that's for sure. So that's everything. Leave some comments down below what you guys think that uh, people should do. Uh, me and Vexicus 466 are probably gonna try to do as much coverage, or not coverage, just bring you guys updates from our uh, phones and that. So like, don't freak out about all my video updates. People like them and people hate them, but I'm doing it for the people that like them. So QQ some more. Anyway, yeah, that's everything, guys. Peace.